One of the things that the blood is doing is showing us that there's a greater intimacy yes. with the Father that the blood gives. That the blood gives, that's right. Yeah, because the blood is the life. Le 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 um, Leviticus 17 and 11 says yes. that, the, that the life of the flesh is in the blood. It's in the blood. So who gave us the blood? Christ Jesus. So that it, life is the life of the Father. One morning I was up fellowshipping, as I always do with the blood and with the Holy Spirit. And this morning I was up fellowshipping and the Holy Spirit said to me, I want to unlock to you the mystery of the blood and the water. And immediately I immediately thought about John 19 verse number 34. It says when the soldier came and pierced Jesus in the side, it said out came blood and water. And so the Holy Spirit says, I want to give you the mystery of this because you need to understand that the blood itself it's the life of God. But what was the water? And so immediately the Holy Spirit took me to Ephesians 5, verse number 26. It said that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. So when Jesus unleashed, when the blood and the water came out, it was an invitation of the life of God and the word of God restoring mankind to his original state. So the word of God is the water. So the Holy Spirit began to show me that now when you go into fellowship, I want you to, to now enter into the fellowship with the word. So this is what the Holy Spirit said. I want you to set a different place for when you come to the word of God, enter into the fellowship with the word of God. And then when you finish with the word of God fellowship, enter into the fellowship with the blood. So this morning, I, that morning, I, next morning, I got up and I began to fellowship with the word of God. And then the Holy Spirit says, tell the word of God to wash you. And I said, word of God, wash me. And that morning, Dad, the word of God began to shower upon me as it was cleansing me. Jesus and when it began to cleanse me, there was a release from me as if I was being washed from some things that the word of God could only wash. And then as I began to ascend up to go to the blood, the word said to me, I'm not finished with you. Mm. And when I went down and got back into the climate of the word, I said, wash me. And the word began to wash me and I began to release from myself. And I begin now to go and, and ascend up to the blood and begin to enter to that fellowship. And that day, I begin to seek understanding. And this is what the Holy Spirit broke down to me and said to me. I want you to look at it this way. That the fellowship of the word, which is the water. Then you got the fellowship of the blood, which is the cleansing. See, the water washes. Okay. But the blood of Christ cleanses or removes spots and blemishes. Look at it this way. Ladies out there that understand when you do laundry, you separate your clothes. You do not wash the color clothes with the white clothes. Neither do you wash the white clothes with the color clothes. Well, the color clothes get what we call detergent or in the old days they would call it washing powder. But the bleach it's designed to remove spots that the washing powder can't do. I was being brought into a fellowship that the word of God and the blood of God working together that would cleanse me and make me unapproachable by the adversary. And today, that's what the word of God and the blood is designed to do with you. So he said to me, the Holy Spirit says, now, you don't apply bleach to color clothes because if you apply bleach to color clothes then you would tend to damage those so therefore the word which is the water that came out of Jesus it has a purpose along with the blood and these two moving together moving in your life remove things and causes you to move into the arena where Jesus said to the disciples Depart from me for a little while. So when the adversary come, he find nothing in me. This is what the Lord is bringing us into now. This is what the Lord is reaching for, for those who will enter into this fellowship. Those that will enter into. So you have to understand that when Adam left, 
He didn't just leave the Father, he left the Word. He left the Word that God put in place for him to obey. So that's why in Isaiah 53, 6, he said that we all have gone astray. See, he left the word. So when Jesus, when Jesus was pierced in the side and out came water and the blood, it was God saying to mankind, come back to the word that you departed from. Now submit to that word along with the blood and it will restore you to your original status where the adversary cannot approach you and come with anything that the iniquity gives him legal right to approach you. Therefore, when you submit to the fellowship of the word, which is the washing and the blood, which is the cleansing, the adversary has no approach, has no way he can corner you because now that the word and the blood has now worked together to create a son of God that is unapproachable by the adversary. This is the hour that we're in now. That fellowship demands us to understand the mystery of the blood and the water. So when Jesus released that, he was releasing the word and the blood. Why? Because both of them created you. Because the Bible in John says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Revelation 13 and 8 says that the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So when Adam sinned, when Adam participated with iniquity, he moved us from the word and moved us from the blood. Now is the generation that shall return us back. But we return by what we left, which is the word and the blood. This is that hour, Dad.